Hi y'all, I'm Brandon Ronk, Marketing Director at Precision Senior Marketing, and today I'll be covering the national Medicaid redetermination that will impact many individuals receiving both Medicare and Medicaid. At the start of the pandemic, Congress enacted the Families First Coronavirus Response Act, which included a continuous enrollment provision that required Medicaid programs keep people continuously enrolled through the end of the month in which the COVID-19 public health emergency ends. This was in exchange for enhanced federal funding. Primarily due to this continuous enrollment provision, Medicaid enrollment has grown substantially compared to before the pandemic and the uninsured end rate has dropped. But when the continuous enrollment provision ends, millions of Americans could lose coverage and that could reverse any recent gains in the uninsured rate. And here's what you should know. Annual Medicaid redetermination was paused during the public health emergency. On February 1st, states can begin their Medicaid redetermination process with the potential for Medicaid disenrollment to start on April 1st, 2023. Each state will determine when their redetermination process begins. Impacted beneficiaries losing coverage or having changes to coverage will be notified by the state approximately 60 calendar days prior to the disenrollment effective date from Medicaid. What this means for you as the agent, you can prepare your dual eligible members to complete the redetermination process for continued Medicaid coverage. Dual eligible special needs plan members, also known as DSNP members, who are found to be ineligible for Medicaid coverage will need an agent's assistance in obtaining new coverage and maintaining continuity of care. non dsnp members whose eligibility level may change could also require a plan review to ensure that they're still on the plan best suited for them. Also, most dual eligibles also receive extra help or LIS to assist with their prescription drug costs. Their extra help status and level will not change immediately and redetermination for extra help separately occurs towards the end of August each year. If they have a change to their extra help or it drops altogether, it won't be effective until the first of the following year. So please keep this in mind when looking into alternate coverage for your clients. You will also want to remind your DSNP members of the following. They need to confirm contact information is up to date with the state. They will need to watch for mail from the state requesting additional documentation. And lastly, they need to respond to any requests from the state promptly to make sure they're meeting those deadlines. We know all of these changes can be very confusing for you and your clients. And as always, if you have questions, don't hesitate to call our knowledgeable marketers here at PSM. We have access to all the details for these state-specific timelines and we will make sure that you are fully equipped to assist your clients. Thank you for all your time today, and I wish you all the best of luck.